105. Althea kills her son Melager. Once upon a time, Althea, the daughter of Eurythemus and King Thestius of Aetolia, married King Onius of Caledon. Althea begot Melager, Gorge, Deanir and several other children. When Melager was seven days old, the three Mori sisters appeared. They cast a piece of wood upon wasting flames and chanted Melager's fate. Clotho said that Melager would be noble. Lachesus said Melager would be brave. But Atropus, seeing the burning piece of wood, said that Melager would remain alive, as long as that piece of wood remained and consumed. Then, the Mori sisters vanished. Althea immediately doused the burning piece of wood, and kept it in a concealed chest in her own room. This piece of wood acted as a charm for Melager, who grew up almost invulnerable. Melager performed several heroic deeds like joining the Argonauts, winning the funeral games of Acastus, and killing the Caledonian boar. At the Caledonian boar hunt, a dispute arose and Melager killed his uncles. When Althea learned that her son Melager had killed her brothers, she wanted to kill Melager and thereby, avenge the death of her brothers. But her love for Melager prevented her from killing him. However, at length, Althea decided to kill Melager. She lighted a fire, took out the long-extinguished wood of the hearth from the concealed chest, and initially hesitating, but later, tearfully looking the other way, threw the piece of wood in the blazing fire. As the greedy flames licked the dry wood, Meliager became progressively weaker, and when the wood was fatally burnt to ashes, Meliager died. Althea hung herself, and Cleopatra, the wife of Meliager, likewise, hung herself. The sisters of Meliager, lamented unceasingly and Artemis transformed them into guinea hens, the Meligrides, who were sent to the Isle of Laris. Among Meliager's sisters, Borge and Deanira were not transformed, 